Hello, Americans. Another friend of subscribers around the world. <laughs> Look. Surprise package. From Kevin Idaho here, baby. I is excited. So, uh, you stole my knife, Miss Kitty. I did? Yeah. No, it's a uh, so, I'm going to open this package and then I'm going to put this clip in the one. Um, if everything goes, it's still the same day as yesterday's. But uh, we are planning on going down and looking at a couple vehicles. So that'll be this next clip. But let's see what I got. I couldn't wait, man. What is it? Oh, dude. You get one too, Miss Kitty. I do? What is it? It says, you're in Idaho Hillbilly Country, Council Idaho. Let me see. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Really That cute. is awesome. <laughs> and that is so cool. Thank you so much. That's pretty cute, man. That's pretty cute. Holy is, is there a moly, Who did I'm we say looking, thank you to? I don't know, man. I can look and see if there's a note. That, that is, is a so I love it. Amazing. Doesn't have my little thing, man. No. I like it. So, uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. No, man. Um, yeah, I don't see. Who the heck? Who the heck said this to me? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Try. There's a note in this. Got a packing, oh, packing slip. Yeah, I got a packing slip. Kim. Kim Fife. Kim Fife? <laughs> yeah. Aww, Aww. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Kim. I'm glad they uh, put that in there. Put that in there. Thank you very much. I absolutely love it. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. All right, let's go find this car with our new hat. <laughs> hey, I lied, I'm back. <laughs> so I found a note on the bottom for a message. And it says, this is from Kim and Pam Fife, Illinois. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Kim and Pam. You guys yes, are so amazing. Thank you. I need to get on there and see you. I haven't seen and talked to you no, for a while. for a long time. Yeah. So, Miss Kitty, man, last winter I spent all my time listening to Kim. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you and Merry thank Christmas. You, Merry Christmas. Hey, trying to run us off the road. <laughs> So we stopped got us some breakfast at Champions, man. We don't eat this crap very often, but uh, I got some yogurt. Yeah, you did good. I so did. I got me a French toast and sausage. <laughs> it's a mm. uh, what they call tornado or whatever the heck they're called. Tornados. And I got me a uh, bacon egg and cheese. That's big. That's breakfast Champions. We forgot our granola bars and our bananas. <laughs> Alright, headed on down. Well, let, me, let me try this one. Let me tell you how it is. This one would be the French Toast. Mm. Not too bad? Mm, right, here we go. Tastes like one of those mm. French Toast things. With breakfast sausage. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. How's that other one? It's okay. So I give the, uh, not for health reasons, but I give the uh, Tornado sausage, French toast wrap, it's just a brown sausage wrap. Thumbs up, let's go with this one. This one tastes like pretty much every other Tornado. <laughs> Out, baby. Had it. <laughs> so, 
As you can see behind me, this is why we can't have a car. <laughs> Just passed up on a smoking deal on a Dyson vacuum because the trunk's full. The back seat's full. The back seat's full. Or nearly full. And if it was my car, I'd have to have me a rack on top. But did you notice that was a Sienna? That's got a pretty high wheelbase. Oh, yeah. Sliders. Not sure. Yeah, because I like the barn door. Like on the lady, I would probably like over here to the bank, get us yeah. some money, we're spending it all. Yeah. Right there. Whoa! Alright, so let me check back in. Alright, man. Trials and tribulations. I hate looking at her and looking for vehicles. I'll be glad when we have what we want. Anyway, so man, we were pretty excited about that Kia, everything that we'd known about. Um, called him, talked to him. Called him, talked to him, was headed out, or went and, you know, came into town here and um, finally got his address. And when I searched, you know, when I search on Craigslist, um, you know, I search owners, man. I want to be buying it. What's right here? The ones. But I want to be buying from the owner, you know, directly to the owner. Yep. And the price, everything, what do you need, Bill? Your phone. Um, you know, and everything, man, it sounded like, man, and the pictures were taken out in front of a nice house, you know, because that's something that, yeah, because that's yeah. something I pay attention to, you know, to make sure I ain't just getting some hunk of junk. So anyways, we get there, or we get the address, and it's on the main drag through town, and Kitty tells me that, and I'm all, well, uh, Wow, they turned that into a Maverick. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't show me. But, uh. I'm like, is this in a flipping car lot? And. I'm like, well, I guess we'll go check it out. And he was coming from. He wasn't even there. The open sign was on. Nobody was there. I pull in. Sure enough, man. It wasn't really like a full-on used car lot. You know, he only had, what, two cars or so? Three. And, uh, sold can't I really don't know what kind of... Sorry. I really don't know what what kind of operation he's running there. I just heard signs. But, uh, then I climbed her, you know, crawled underneath it and looked and much care for that. The inside, man, when I told you about the foot pedal, the foot pedals and all that didn't look worn at all. But uh, some of the other the stuff, seat man. Belt, yeah, yeah, the seatbelt. The... There were some other things, and I'm like, man, I don't know about this. So we just texted him. He never showed up. We waited 20 minutes. He never showed up. And I'm like, dude, I got better things to do than uh, Wait around. this because, yeah, I just know. And then on the on the in the car lot he had a um what another five hundred dollars more than yeah. it was listed on yeah. Craigslist. It's just a weird deal. So now we're going to number two, so now we're gonna go check out the Green Pacific and this is the one I've been really liking. What do you say? He said, Yeah, it's I'm on consignment for an older gentleman that didn't want to deal with the public, so I'm just doing him a favor. Also, if you don't mind me asking, what's the difference if I'm a dealer or not? Uh, Your fees. Is that what you're saying? Right. You tell me, it's kidding. Right. So anyway, I don't want to pay you a fee to buy yeah, me a car. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, there's something that uh, can work out someday. So anyway, so we're going to go down and the Pacific is number two. What's number three? I've got two Pacificas, up two and three. Okay. All right, so we'll check back in. I don't know. Straight up so honesty. These, uh, Come on, people. You know, man, I've bought. Well, I bought my. I bought everything, man. I bought since Craigslist came along. I went from buying out of the news, you know, out of the nickel paper to buying um, off of Craigslist. So, uh, uh, you know, and I'm not, man. I'm gonna 
say who the seller was. You know, I also drove tow truck for quite a while in this valley and hauled cars. So you know a lot of the So dealers. I know a lot of the dealers. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole group, man. And actually, I get along with them and everything. But they're gypsies. No problem with anybody, man. I'm the most unracial person that you'll ever ever meet man I know way more horrible white people than I do any other race right. um, with that said and this and then the last guy wasn't one of the gypsies so but the new thing to do on Craigslist you guys came all the way down here and told them prior that we were coming from council can't coming from council what we call and there's this old lady on the answering machine no call back She'll so, so She'll beings that right. were from born and raised for generations, we look at the buildings in the background. <laughs> yeah. And so, we went back so for the last 30 minutes, we have been driving around in circles to get the right angle on the building because we knew the building. It's been there our whole lives. And finally, we find the parking lot, Where and I look over, and I was all, I'll bet you 50 bucks it's that in, it's the that little car lot right, right there. there. And so, yeah. then we pull around the corner, and sure enough, there's the Pacifica. I guess we're going this way. Yep. Um, I don't want to go this way. Well, you can turn around the parking lot right here. Uh, I'm just going this way. Yes. Um, yeah. So, uh, unbelievable. So, we just got out. So, I didn't, yeah, didn't look kid, at the car. And I'll tell you what. Man, Miss Kitty wasn't quite as bad as the HP printer. Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> man, I just asked that gypsy up. guy, man, and he comes up, you know, all yeah. smiles, and she's all, "You got this listed on Craigslist?" And he's all, "You know, yes." And uh, she's all, "As an owner?" Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's all, "Thanks." Thanks. Just turned around and walked away. Well, then he followed us to the thing, man. I was all, "Hey, thanks, man." Yeah, trying to give us a sales pitch. Sales we pitch, and it's all, car. yeah, we're out looking at a few things, man. Yeah, you know, but uh, dude, so holy smokes, that's and that was my number. I mean, that was his number the, one. Yeah, car. the Kia had went above, but the Pacifica, um, yeah, that green man, it wasn't even green, actually. No, it was kind of like a teal, green. Oh, it just green. Kills it, bums me out. Okay, I'm gonna call this other one before we okay, so we're gonna call this to see if we actually get you know, and I mean. Dude, if you want to buy from a dealer and stuff, and the one guy's, well, why wouldn't you want to buy from a dealer? I don't want to pay your well, uh, I'm a reseller. Yeah, I'm a reseller. I, I am that. a dealer. I used to deal in so many cars and yeah. trailers and all that yeah. that, no, I don't want to buy. And I ain't even buying for resale. I'm buying for myself, yeah. so I definitely don't want to buy from a yeah. dealer. You know? Oh, dude, that really bums me out. And the thing about it, nothing, dude. I'm my uncle. I got family and friends that do it. And that one's supposed to have a, a clean title, but they buy these wrecked ones mm -hmm. and uh, fix them up, mm -hmm. and so you really don't know what you're getting. No. And I go, like I said, it's a gut feeling, yeah. man. And then both of them, I'm feelings. selling it on commission. Yeah, I'm selling on commission. Yeah, I bet you are. Man. Yeah. You ain't selling it to me. There's that car lot there. And I mean, I look at the car lots. I have bought from car lots, not, not a lot, man. <laughs> Why would I buy from a car lot when I can get a thousand dollars cheaper from a private? Oh, dude, I'm so agitated. All yeah, right, we'll check back in. Okay, so uh, three minutes later, <laughs> Miss Kitty's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call this one, other one. So she calls on the second Pacifica. So, is this still available? Yes, yes. Uh, is this a privately owned or is this a dealer? Uh, uh, we're a dealer. Uh, we're a dealer. All right, thanks. Goodbye. And this is all listed under owners on the private thing. You know, if you don't, you know, which I guess they are the owners. You know, I mean, they could argue right. that point. Right. But, uh, oh, dude. So, uh, let's strike three. That's half of ours are out. Now we may be buying ourselves a pickup. <laughs> I know he's. I'm pretty sure that that dude is you real. Think? Uh, but actually, we should go out that way because of that. Yeah. We don't want to go across here because of the construction. Correct. So. Okay. It's gonna be a long day. Well, no, it's not because we're going to head back that way, and we may just not. <laughs> We spent half a day now. Man, thank goodness, man. We're going to go hit some thrift stores. I just passed that one, but I don't much care for that. No, I don't either. 
Um, dude, I'm disgusted. We're now we're gonna have to so we're gonna start searching in a little bit. Head back out we towards. We passed that other chevron. One. So will you stop at this chevron? No, I don't like. Unless chevrons. you're hungry and you want to find something to eat. Okay, man. So we have not had luck worth a crap today. It's unbelievable. I have never, ever had so much problem uh, giving somebody money in my life. So then we're driving by, and all those four out of the six turned out to be car lots. I got a Dodge truck that's here in this little town that I might look at. And then we're driving by, and man, after all of them on the things, and I see this Sienna van in the back of this little car lot off the side of the road. So I thought, all right, dude, might as well check it out. So the price is uh, actually cheaper than uh, um, the price is actually cheaper. That I was planning on spending. It's got more miles. <sighs> Decent tires. Not as quite as nice as the ones that we were looking at. But if the price is right and he'll negotiate, it's got hundred and well, there's supposed to be three hundred thousand mile rigs, so we shall see. Oh and the other thing that I was going to say. <laughs> Is we actually have just came back because so we I finally bite the bullet and I pull into a car lot and dude there's nobody here so we call the number <laughs> the lights on are on the, but nobody's yeah, home yeah the lights are on nobody's home so we call the number on the door and nothing nobody answers so then we take off to go look at the see if we can find where the Dodge is and we're coming back here, headed out there, and I pulled back in here one more time to see. And now the guy's she just got a hold of the dude, and he's gonna be here in 20 minutes or something. So, dude, any of y'all out there want to sell me a rig? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <We're> back. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm driving something different. Kitty's behind me. It's got a little bit of pole to the left that I'm gonna have to take care of. Um, so I ended up buying the one I showed in the last clip, the little Toyota Sienna. And uh, I wish you could have seen this kitty's face. Because finally got a hold of the the guy and he comes out and uh, uh Oh, man, so bad. The tires, the tires were low, and uh, he didn't even know it was unlocked. Man, I'd already went through this whole dang thing, so I had all kinds of, I had all kinds of things to tell him about it. And so we went uh, over, and it was actually like a consignment deal or something like that. We go over it, and he gets there, and um, first thing, man, the battery's dead. Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> what kind of car lot is this, man? You know, because I finally gave in and went to a car lot. And, uh, so anyway, so, I had to jump start it. Damn, that should have been my name first. But I had to jump start it. So we get the jump started. You know, he, this kitty gets in and he gets in the back here. We take it for a test drive. And, uh, I'm telling him, man, it's both to the left, it's alignment, um, other different things, man. I just noticed just now that the uh, um, speedometer side's not lighting up, so I guess that's in your fuse or bolt. So There's a bunch of little things. Nothing, you know, that I found major or anything like that. And they had 23 or 24, 2500, I can't remember what he had, they had on it. Uh, you know, and he's telling me, oh, you know, man, the guy probably worked with you on it and stuff like that. 
Good man, I drive it, man. As far as driving, man, the transmission's good and the motor, I mean, that's all I really, you know, little little things, you know, we can take care of as we, you know, go along and it's got a hundred Sienna's are known, you know, we have been researching them. I built one, this one's a, I'm pretty sure that, well, I know it is. This one's a uh, front wheel drive. I wanted an all wheel drive. But this one's supposed to uh, get uh, 28 miles a gallon. So, that's good. So, anyway, man, so we take a cruise and stuff with Miss Kitty. Uh, so, finally, man, the guy's back there, and Miss Kitty's sitting here, and so I'm, uh, so I'm also, you said this guy, you know, is gonna work with you, you know, he just wants to get rid of these cars and stuff with this car, and there's a couple more of the cars he had. And so, I mean, what are you thinking? He's all, oh, what are you, you know, what kind of price are you thinking, you know, what are you willing to give us all? And I'll do, uh, 1500 bucks, man. 1500 bucks, that's everything. That's docking, all the whatever hidden things, man, I will lay 15 $100 bills out on your desk. And Miss Kitty, when I looked out of the corner of my eye, Miss Kitty's like, that about, you know, shocked. And then he just went dead silent. And, uh, you know, so man, I keep driving, man. I'm just driving, man. And I'm picking this thing apart. Um, then he's all, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I'm pretty sure I know what he'll say, but, um, I'll, I'll let him know, I'll, you know, I'll let him know which thing. So we get back to the car lot, and, uh, we go inside, oh, and the one thing that I noticed is this dang switch on this blinker, uh, these blinkers in these things, or a lot of these electronic ones, the little, uh, the little, whatever you want to call them, but the little hitter in them. You can just pop these two cases off a lot of time and you can just take it, clean up the connections, you know, and that's probably all it is because it works, but you just kind of have to play with it a little bit. It's little, little things, man. Little things I can fix. And, man, but I told him that. So we head in there, we get in there, and then I'm all, you know what, I didn't check the lights, man. So I come out, and, you know, the battery's dead again, so I do the lights. The lights, and man, I get the jumper cables and hook the things up. The lights come on, the running lights, and all that. And uh, so then, kicking around it, and uh, Miss Kitty comes out, man, and I'm just like, What do you think? Yeah, you know, Miss Kitty, I can tell she wants it, man, the whole time. And uh, I can't believe you only offered it for 1500 bucks. I was, man, this thing is uh. Dude, this thing has got issues, man. You know, man, there's so many little, little things. You know, I came out here to buy a car, man. Buy a car that I, I need to take. I got plenty of cars to work on. I don't need another project. And he came out about the time I was saying that. And I'm like, man, I came out. Cause, dude, we left today expecting to buy, you know, some fancy rig that we were. Because that one was, the, you know, the first two, man. The Pacifica or the, um... But that little Kia, man, that was, I thought for sure that's what we were gonna, you know, I was gonna end up getting one of them too. You know, they were, you know, about 3,500 bucks, man, that's probably what I, you know, if I'd have pulled it off for three grand, that would have been, you know, pretty good score on those. And they had had, you know, like 100,000 miles or something on them. Anyway, so man, I tell him, so he tells you, so the guy comes back and says, you know, that he'll, oh, He'll do that. Fifteen hundred bucks. So I was like, all right. Okay, I'll take fifteen hundred bucks. So we go back in, and I come back out, and uh, I come back out, dude, and this door, the side slider door, wouldn't shut. I'm like, what in the heck, man? If this kid comes out, I'm like, no, no, no. I was like, dude, I am buying this thing, man. And he comes out, and he plays, or no, he cut, all right, we go in there, man, or I go back in, because there was that, and there was some other little thing, man, I was agitated, man. 
Man, I go back in, I'm all, man, I'm renegging. I was all, I ain't buying that mother, man. I can't do it. I can't do that. There's just too much stuff, man, dude. I got so many projects I do not need. I have a classic band that I want to work on. I don't want to work on this thing. Oh, no. And I was all, man, the freaking door won't even shut. <laughs> and, uh, so anyway, man, he comes back out, and all it was was a little button. He's got the handle buttons on him. A little button stuck in. It needs some WD or whatever. He's got a sunroof or a moonroof, too. Oh. Uh, so man, dude, he's just gets my, you know, man, just, just trying to pave it over. I'm like, man, I got so much crap up there, you know. He didn't know what to think of it. And uh, Miss Kitty, she keeps saying, well, you know, man, I can tell she wanted it. She's like, oh, baby, you fix it. And, uh, you know, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to. So anyway, man, this guy goes on and on. And nice kid, man, really nice guy. I like him. Oh, and I liked messing with that. And I could just tell he didn't know what the heck to think of me. Who the heck is this guy? But, uh, uh, so I just, you know, I was like, dude, I don't know, man. You know, man. So anyway, we got it worked out. I got a brand new battery. Um, uh, finally, I was like, oh, dude. <laughs> All right, man. And now I've drove it. We're headed back to um, to go to more mini thrift, excuse me, thrift store. We did fill up the car at the one thrift store, so that's pretty good. Headed up here to buy a mark. Um, and as far as driving, you know, man, it obviously put me battery. Other than things like the little light right there ain't working, that I'm going to have to uh, figure out little things. But uh, yeah, this thing drives. Nice, 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 and the, the pull to the left could actually be, I need to go around and check all the time. It's got brand new tires on it, man, so it's got, uh, you know, probably, uh, I'd probably say six or eight hundred dollars worth of tires. I haven't looked at the brand of them, but man, the tray, I mean, they're brand new, still got the little nubbies. Uh, and the heater, everything works good, the little sunroof thing works good, this lighting working, so these, this could just be a few light bulbs. It's missing the third row seating, which that'll be a Kai area anyway. Cargo. Oh, oh, oh man. Steroids. So, uh, all in all, man, I'm pretty happy. I think I did a pretty good deal. And then, you know, now I'm driving it back and stuff. I'm just thinking far down the video is, you know, me and Miss Kitty, man, we are 100% true believers. Everything happens for a reason. And, you know, now that we got this van and everything like that, I I just think we were supposed to have this van. You know, I mean, especially the way that the whole day turned out. I mean, we had it. I mean, we spent a good amount of time getting all that. I mean, a half dozen half dozen vehicles to look out and was it five I mean, did they may have all turned out I didn't go look at the Dodge pickup that was the last one on my list that's where I was headed and we're headed down the road man and I look over in this car lot just a little one he just opened it a month ago and you know, that's why he wasn't there and so I mean just waited to us and stuff but I look over and in the very back is when I see this and I'm all well there's there's a Sienna right there it's the only thing and uh, so there, man, we turned around, so we, we were actually headed over. I was going to look at that Dodge, you know, man, Dodge I had, it was, this one was a Sport, four-door. Uh, I had the same exact van full-size that was the, you know, back then, I think it was the three-door, the, the one behind, you know, it was a king cab over this one, it's a crew cab. So I never did look at that, and it could have turned out to be a dealer. What they're doing, man, on Craigslist, the trick is... After you know, all that stuff, we were having lunch, we were looking at it. And them SOBs at these car lots is a scam, and I think it's the higher dollar, most of the thousand dollar. Well, I don't know, I didn't go out and look at the thousand, fifteen hundred, you and know, we were looking in the higher, higher bracket. And what they're doing is they're taking their cars out in these fancier neighborhoods and taking pictures of the car in these neighborhoods and putting them on. Craigslist because I was marking owner 
you know, not dealers, just the owner. And all those, five out of the six, and maybe six, all six of them turned out to be dealers. So, this Craigslist turned in, man, it's crazy. There's kids out, well, we're bad men in the game, but I just bought my, you know, the Lady Hawk, I bought it off Craigslist a year and two months ago, so. Tired of listening to you? <laughs> Talk to you, Miss in the car. Anyway, man, we'll let y'all go for the day. It's probably a long video. And uh, got this Toyota Sienna van. I'll show it the video tomorrow. Probably once we get home, probably going to. So I gotta play with this. See if I hold that blinker right there, it works. Um, one thing, man, I should have bought a car. This dash of this thing is not. I'm going to have to give me some kind of mount because this dash is not made to fill yourself. Um, I gotta hold it right there, dude. It's that little switch. Oh, Alright, so uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Howdy. <laughs> Helps keep the lights on, the video's coming, the home fires are burning. And check out our eBay. Can't get the TV, well I could get the TV before Christmas, but man it cost a fortune. And uh, good Lord willing the cricks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya!